Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with mysticgenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today I would like to offer your elemental energy reading for the week of July 28th through August 3rd of 2024. And I read for the elements and not the zodiac. There's a video down below if you want to check out the reason for that. Um, and I also, if you don't know what your elemental alignment is, I will mention the zodiac signs that fall under each element, so you can go by that if you choose. But if you really want to do a deep dive into your zodiac and find out what your alignment is for elements, there is a natal interpretation chart linked in the description. It's not an affiliate or anything like that. Um, but what they do is they give you your basic chart with all the circles and the houses and all that stuff. But then they go through 10 to 20 pages, depending on <laughs> what's all in the chart, of really cool information. And they also give you an alignment for your elements. Like for my personal um, chart, it's water dominant, like to the point where <laughs> there's really not much else there. <laughs> so there's that's how mine turns out. So if you're interested, you can check that out. Uh, with that being said, I will hop into the reading and we'll start. Uh, with the cycle of the zodiac which is with fire energy so for our fire family covering Aries Leo and Sagittarius your first rune is the Kano rune this little guy here and it's a torch or fire so this is really tapping into fire's core the color is light red the tarot association is the chariot your astrology is Venus, and it signifies creative fire, awakening artistic impulses, passion, and uh, amorous activities. So with that rune coming up for this week for fire, it's really saying we're kind of in that, well, not kind of, we're in the Leo swing of life. So you've got that fire energy coming in from the sun as well. You really have this apex of the summer season right now. And with fire, this <laughs> what it's saying is this is your season. This is your time to shine. If there's something that just lights your heart up, that lights your soul on fire, this is the time to really delve into that. And if maybe you haven't quite discovered what that is yet, um, what I'm hearing is this is the time to explore those possibilities. And they're, they're referencing, interestingly enough, a creative pursuit, something that you've seen other people do or seen and you've just been really drawn to it, something that's caught your attention. They're saying this week is a good week to explore that further. Is this something that really is going to light you up to start to study into practice or maybe develop? Or is this something that's just going to be a distance where you're observing from afar and enjoying what you're seeing, but not quite there yet? So your second rune is Thurizaz, which is the god of strength. Again, tying into that fire energy. Color is bright red. Tarot association is the emperor. Astrology is Mars. It's protection, someone providing help, good news coming in. So fire, this is really saying step into your power this week. You have two fire elemental runes coming forward. You have the torch and you also have the god of strength. This is really saying this, the stars are aligned in your favor. You have Mars and Venus, which are the union of opposites. Venus is, tends to be water. But when you have Mars and Venus coming together, that's where you get into that. Um, they're saying it's more of an amorously, I'm selecting my words carefully here. Uh, it's more of that tension. So there's a lot of creation that's a possible this week. Um, they're saying if you wanted to try for a child, this would be a good week to try for it because you have the strength of <laughs> a lot of fire energy coming up. And the passion that goes along with that can also be channeled into creative pursuits, seeking out um, deeper knowledge and wisdom, especially they're saying in the form of spiritual and creative. They're not differentiating the two. They're saying that whatever you do this week is really about being creative in the action that you take. So let's hop over to our Earth family and earth covers Taurus Virgo and Capricorn so earth your first rune is the Gibo rune and it's the blessing and generosity rune there we go and it's 
color of deep blue. Tarot association is the lovers. Astrology is Pisces. So this is a neighboring energy to Earth. It is a sign of gifts, generosity, giving, people coming together, and relationships deepening. Earth, whereas fire <laughs> was all about very passion and aggression, this first one is more of a passive energy, which tends to be more in Earth's alignment anyway, where you're being open to receiving, but you're also being very generous with your time, with your attention. They're saying that this is not a financial thing, this particular meaning for you, but when you have the tarot coming in with the lovers and the Pisces, this is really about spending time with the people you care about, especially your inner circle, your partner. Um, they're being kind of loud about that one, so drop the kids off at grandma's house, spend some time with your, your partner, and deepen that relationship. Bring it more into um, the spiritual connection and there's different exercises you can do where you pass the energy back and forth, giving your attention to your partner and your partner giving it back. So you're constantly giving, but as you're giving, you're also receiving. So you build a circuit of that energy. Um, there's, they're saying that this ties into the Tantra as well. And I'm not talking the modern day, oh, look, it's a new position. Like the actual sacred text of the Tantra, the Kama Sutra, where you start to understand the other person as a spiritual being and it's a bonding of souls not just a meeting of body parts so they're that's what they're bringing forward with this your second rune is our little lightning bolt here where did it go <laughs> seriously there it is um and it's so willow which is technically the sun but i see it as a lightning bolt um the color is white and silver. Tarot association is the sun. Astrology is also so the sun or solar. It's a rune of good health and happiness, wholeness, clarity, enlightenment, and success. When you bring these two together, it's really saying this is a time for your family to become the focus of your life, your partner, your inner workings. It's not talking so much about outside things. They're not talking about finances. Like, oh, you ought to bring all the money in. That's helpful. But this... What I'm hearing with this particular bonding of pairs for Earth is this is about deepening of relationships, the soul connections, the the true wealth and abundance is not just in how many dollars you have in your account. It's the intensity and the intimacy with the people around you. Intimacy as in the soul connections. Because um, to be honest with you, your soulmate is rarely your partner. Just being honest there because you can bond with somebody when you're not sleeping with them. And that builds a different kind of intimacy. And that's the kind of thing they're talking about is with your partner, but also your inner circle, this is a really good time to deepen those bonds. Uh, it could be with your kids, it could be with your parents, depends on where everything is in life. But this is what they're talking about with the generosity and the sun is, this is all about family connection and bonding this week for our earth family. So let's check out the air. And air covers Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So this one is for the floating clouds and the sylphs among us. And that is your first rune. Do, ba -do, ba -do. Giving you the keywords and then we hear what they have to say. Your first rune is Jira or the year, and it's the color of light blue. The tarot association is the fool. Astrology is Earth, so air, this is not going to be your strong point this week. It's signifying the cycles of nature and life, something coming to fruition, effort receiving rewards. But when you have the fool coming in, it's also a time of beginning. There's a little bit of, we'll see what the second rune says. But for air, <laughs> they're saying that you're tapping into your more uh, naive aspect, kind of the opposite of air's intellect is the air head. And that's kind of that tra-la-la, tiptoeing through the tulips, don't care about life, because things just happen, and that's how it is, and that's what they're bringing up with this, is this week could be very frivolous for you, and that's where the earth is coming in, which is not something you want to deal with, but it's saying, hey, put your feet back on the ground, come back here, because there's things that are happening, there's cycles that are maturing, and now it's time to receive that, and it doesn't mean that you can tra-la-la off into the tulips, but it's saying you know anchor back in because to be able to receive the gifts that are coming in 
you, you kind of need to be in the physical and not bouncing around out in the spirit world. Your second rune is Othila, and this is Ancestral Property. Color is deep yellow, tarot association with the moon, and you also have the astrology of full moon time. And it's signifying possessions, inheritance, real property, abilities, or traits coming from your line. So what you're what I'm hearing from this is your earth call with the Jira rune is bringing you back in because you have collected things from the outer worlds to come in. Your spiritual gifts, so to speak, are being anchored into the physical. But they're also saying that if you stay out in the La La Land for too long, you'll miss opportunities to use those gifts. But also you might miss an opportunity of something else coming your way as a benefit. So for our air family, they're saying try to do things this week that ground you, eat healthier, um, not as so much dense, but they're saying eat more of a protein energy this week. And I'm they're being really worried about that. They don't say what kind, just something with more protein to help anchor you down in. Um, they're also saying that this week is a good week to practice grounding exercises, putting your feet to the earth, bringing yourself in, especially if you start to feel kind of like your tension's wavering a little bit, time to ground, bring yourself back. So uh, that's what I hear for the earth, for the air family. And we'll head over to our water family. Water covers Cancer, Scorpio, and the Pisces. So air, or air, sorry, water. <laughs> we have the Rado rune, which is long journeys on horseback. Color is bright red. Tarot association is the Hierophant. Astrology is Sagittarius. So you're working with some not so great energy this week, <laughs> uh, water. And it is indicating physical journeys, especially pleasant ones, journeys that bring some positive development, and it can also refer to a spiritual journey or seeking of self. This week, especially when you do self-searching, water, they're saying this can be a little bit of a rough period. Sagittarius is the end of the fire cycle, and it can be a little aggressive, but you also have the Hierophant, so they're saying that this is about connecting into a higher, uh, more wise-based knowledge. It could be seeking help from another person who's been there, done that. It could be finding a new mentor, something along those lines, because the journey of a thousand steps starts with a single, um, a thousand miles starts with a single step. That's what they're saying with this is you're starting a long game. You may not be ready for it. You may not want to have to go this route, but right now they're saying you it's time to start it because the things are lined up that you've been building an intention for you've been developing a pattern you've been looking at how to set this up you've been getting things lined up the universe is saying are you going to pull the trigger or what are you going to do this or not that's that's the first part of the week or the first energy let's see what our second one is but it's definitely saying everything you've been wanting is there are you willing to take the next step so your second rune is Wunjo, which is joy Color is yellow. Tarot association is strength. Astrology is Leo. Still working on that fire energy. A uh, sign of happiness and harmony between people. A situation may change for the better. Things may not be going smoothly through this week, but it's because there's a call to action. Are you willing to step up and take that call? However, that may manifest for you. You've got Sagittarius and Leo coming in as your astrology. So it might be someone who's a Leo or a Sagittarius. Someone in the fire <laughs> clan is coming to um, start a fire under you. The nice thing with fire or with water is you can adapt. You can shift with the changing seasons. And that's what they're saying for you this week is, are you ready to make the changes? The Hierophant and Strength with the Tarot concept is saying, it's time to step into wisdom. Are you strong enough? you're strong enough are you willing to admit you're strong enough to take those next steps are you willing to admit that the strength always has always been there it's a matter of putting will to that strength to step forward and say yes this is what i want the conclusion with that is if you're willing to take those steps the joy is going to be fulfilled it's you're playing the long journey water so just be aware of that it's not going to be a quick thing it's going to be a over time thing um over the next 
week <laughs> definitely try to stay anchored and grounded remember that the your guides and guardians are there to support you call upon them as needed and there's going to be a lot of bonding and growth this week's what i keep hearing um, especially with fire and earth they're really about that inner core connection and creating that more intimate connections with people whereas air and water are more about <laughs> You've got some things coming in this week that could be a little uh, positively jarring. It's just a matter of staying grounded as life come ha comes at you. So with that, I will let you guys go. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video.